My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letters Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. You are welcome to another beautiful episode of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at the laws of electromagnetic induction and we shall also look at induced EMF in a straight conductor instead of a coin which we discussed in the previous episode. We discussed the factors that affect the strength of induced EMF in a coin and the factors that determine the direction of induced EMF. Electromagnetic induction is all about magnetic field interacting with electric circuits to produce EMF. When there is relative motion between a conductor and magnetic field, EMF is induced and this induced EMF gives rise to induced current. Faraday and Lenz were the two guys who took time to reason and give us the laws of electromagnetic induction. The law of Faraday, in summary, says that when there is a varying magnetic field, current is likely going to be induced. And Lenz's law gave us the direction of this induced EMF. He said that the original EMF and this EMF that is induced, they move in opposite direction, which means the induced EMF move such as to oppose the motion that is producing it. Faraday has two laws of electromagnetic induction. The first law says that whenever a conductor is placed in a very magnetic field, EMF is induced. And if this circuit is closed, the induced EMF will give rise to induced current. And the Faraday's second law, or the law which will be told that it is the Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, says that induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of the flux linkage. Rate of change of the flux linkage in the coil. Now, we don't solve it proportionality sign in mathematics or in physics. We convert to equal to. As such, we introduce a constant A. A is the number of loop in the coil. So, EMF induced is equals number of loop in the coil times change in magnetic flux. This is the same thing as change like this over like this. You will agree with me that this is the same thing as A plus 2 minus plus 1 over time or T2 minus T1. If something is changing, it means the final value minus initial value. If you live here like this, you will be wrong. This is where Lenz's law comes to play. Lenz's law states that the direction of the induced current or the induced EMF is in a way that it is opposing the motion producing it. So this and this, they are opposite of each other. So here becomes minus and here becomes minus. EMF can be induced in a coil or in a straight line conductor, just a single straight line wire. For a coil, induced EMF is WBAN sine WT. Meanwhile, for a straight line conductor, it is BIV sine theta. All these will be seen later in calculations. You will see the meaning of everything and how to use them. 
for now, know that E is BAN sign WT for induced EMF in a coin. Why for straight conductor that is not a coin? It is BIV sign theta. Now, the direction of the induced EMF can be given by Fleming's right hand rule. The Fleming's right hand rule states that if you bring out your right hand and you place your thumb, forefinger, and the middle finger perpendicular to each other, if the thumb, the forefinger, and the middle finger of your right hand are placed perpendicular to each other, you see that here and here they are 90 degrees, here and here they are 90 degrees. If you have something like this, your thumb indicates the direction of the magnetic force. Your forefinger indicates the direction of the magnetic field. And your middle finger indicates the direction of the current. So Fleming's right hand rule states that if you place your thumb, forefinger, and middle finger perpendicular to each other, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, this is the direction of the force or magnetic force, this is the direction of the magnetic field, and this is the direction of the current. You may be wondering, what then is the direction of the induced EMF? We know that the induced EMF is what gives rise to the induced current. So this will be the middle finger, will also be the direction of the induced EMF. Ladies and gentlemen, laws of electromagnetic induction, um, electromagnetic induction in straight wire, Fleming's right hand rule. With this, we come to the end of this episode. And I do hope you find something interesting and something helpful. Feel free to subscribe to this channel. Tell others about the Flash Learners YouTube channel. And don't forget to get the Flash Learners Jam application. It is going to help you a whole lot. See you in the next episode. Where we shall still be talking about electromagnetic induction.